What's up guys, welcome back to a brand new video on my channel, so in this video, I'm gonna show you some brand new things coming to PES 2021. Obviously, there is not too many new things this year due to the game uh, just being a season update, but there's still a couple of nice new additions, uh, which are pretty cool, and yeah, I'm just gonna go through them and show you them today. I also wanna say a big thank you for the massive support on my Arsenal Career Mode series or Master League series on PES 2020. Let me know in the comment section down below which team should I do in PES 2021. Should we go for Barcelona? I feel like they they could, you know, need something new right now. They are struggling and yeah, they just have to uh, have a whole rebuild done. So let me know in the comment section if you guys want to see Barcelona. Should I do Bayern? I mean, they are doing pretty well these days. I'm not too sure if there's too much I can do, you know, to improve it. But let me know if you guys want to see Bayern. Or do you guys want to see Juventus? Let me know down below as well. They haven't won the Champions League in ages. So Juventus could also be an interesting team. Let me know down below one of those three teams. I'm also going to do a series with a lower team as well. Uh, but that's gonna come later. I'm gonna start one of these uh, three teams right here. Barca, Bayern, and Juventus. Let me know down below in the comment section which one you guys wanna go for. All of those teams have their stadium in the game. So, uh, yeah, it's gonna be one of those three uh, that I'll start very soon when the game comes out. Let's get into it then. Sorry for that the long intro. But the first thing I'm gonna talk about is the full rights to AS Roma. Same situation as Juventus. On FIFA 21, it's not gonna be called AS Roma anymore. They're gonna have a brand new badge, a brand new name. Uh, as with Piemonte Calcio now on FIFA 20. So yeah, they now have the full rights to that. And also the Calcio B is not going to be on FIFA 21. Pass have all the rights for that as well. However though, they're going to be losing both Milan teams. And also the San Siro is not going to be in the game anymore. Which is very disappointing. So you know, they're losing a couple teams. They're getting a couple new licenses. Um, but you know, they, keep, they need to keep holding on to these. If they want to really try to take over FIFA. So luckily though, you have the option files on the PS4 and PC. So not really much of a problem, uh, but still losing Sassero and both Milan teams is not too great for the game. The Greece Monk Confetti celebration is going to be in PES 2020, the one in the real life. And yeah, it's not going to be on the game. So I'm not too sure if it's going to be like an exclusive just for Griezmann or if every single player can do this. Uh, we'll have to wait and see about that. But uh, this is one of my new favorite things added to the game. A really cool celebration. A bit unique as well. You don't see this kind of thing all the time when you're uh, just literally using confetti. Like that's a, that's a complete completely different object that you, you know, don't see too much on the football pitch. So that is really cool and yeah, cannot wait um, to, to try out this celebration. One of the reasons I actually want to do a Barcelona career mode again is because of the celebration. So yeah, a very nice addition and definitely my favorite celebration. Uh, that's been added, that, that's the only one we know that's new, but I guess we'll have a few other ones as well. Uh, but this one, really nice addition. They've also got the full license now with Sao Paulo in Brazil. So their brand new stadium and full license is gonna be in the game and uh, now if you guys do not know the game is so massive in Brazil I think they have a bigger fan base for PES than FIFA in Brazil uh, in South America this game is absolutely huge and uh, not as big in Europe as it is over there um, so that is the reason that they're literally having the full Brazil in the license now they have almost every single team there fully licensed and all the stadiums in the game um, so that is really great to see Sao Paulo of course one of the most iconic teams there so they now have the full license they're still Stadium as well, that is a brand new stadium to the game, um, so that is exciting to see. When you play these games in the Brazilian League or the Brazilian Cups, uh, it is insane atmosphere as you can see on this gameplay. So, really looking forward to try this out, but that is a brand new license for the Brazilian League. They've also got some brand new managers to the game. Uh, we now have Lampard, we have Giggs, and we also have Guardiola with hair. Um, so, that is a bit uh, weird to see uh, that it's not, uh, you know, the latest version of Guardiola. I think yeah, this is like from 10 or 15 years ago or something. Um, so Guardiola's got here, Giggs is in the game as well, and Lampard, so I'm sure we're gonna be able to use those in the Master League mode as well. Um, so yeah, very nice new additions there uh, for the managers. There's also gonna be an even more detailed Old Trafford. Uh, this is gonna be the craziest recreation of Old Trafford in any video game ever. And uh, yeah, we can see from these pictures that it does indeed look really great. Uh, one of my favorite things about this game is that they really have amazing detail uh, when it comes to the stadiums when it comes to the atmosphere and things like that so uh, yeah this looks uh, really great even though I'm a Liverpool fan the detail in this looks absolutely 
incredible. That is basically all the things I wanted to talk about in this video. Uh, we don't have too many more additions. I'm sure there's going to be a couple more things. Uh, but of course, we have to remember this is just a season update. Not too much new to the game. It's going to be very similar. Um, you know, maybe like a couple new celebrations and a couple new managers and things like that. But uh, gameplay-wise, I think it's going to be very similar as the past 2020. This is all because they are now working even harder uh, on, you know, the next-gen version on PlayStation 5 uh, for past 2022. We've already seen a small trailer of that and it looks incredible. So I have no problems with this at all. If this means uh, that we're going to get, you know, a similar game like last year. But if that means that we're going to get a massive, crazy new game next year uh, for the next gen consoles I'm all for that so uh, let me know what you guys are thinking about it in the comment section down below drop a like as well guys if you're excited about the pass even though uh, it is not going to be too much different and of course let me know as well which teams should I do a career move video thank you guys so much for the insane support I had uh, right now on my Arsenal series so I'm looking forward to start one in a couple weeks as well uh, when this game comes out but that is all for now thank you once again so much for watching have a great weekend check out my new video as well on my second channel but that is all. I'll see you guys very soon. Peace out.